home gyms and exercise equipment that have stacks of weights also have a lot of pulleys and a lot of cables. This one on the bottom of the page here has four pulleys. This one has six. And over here, both of these each have nine pulleys. There are a lot of parts to these machines that you could say are the, the heart of the machine. But when you get right down to it, the weights, the cables, and the pulleys are really what make the machine work. Without a doubt, the single part of that machine that gets the most use, the most stress, the most strain, and the most wear and tear are the pulleys. It also means that uh, you can have a reasonable expectation that if you really use your machine, that at some point your pulleys are going to fail and they're going to need to be replaced. Tech Teams number 939 Replacement Exercise Machine Pulley Set is the ideal product for replacing those pulleys. When you pull on that handle and the machine creaks and grinds a little bit and it lurches a little bit when you apply pressure, that's probably about the time when you need to replace the pulleys. When you take a close look at your machine, you're going to find that it probably has two different types of pulleys. You have one type, like this one, that's enclosed in a housing, and then you have another one that looks like this one that's exposed. It doesn't matter which pulley you're looking at. They're both going to be roughly the same diameter, which in this case is about 3.65 inches, which is roughly 3 and 5 eighths inches. In fact, it really doesn't matter too much if the diameter of the pulley varies a little bit from that. It's not going to affect the performance of your machine. The really important thing to consider is the type of pulley that you buy to replace the ones that are giving you trouble. This is an inexpensive pulley. Now, this may go a little bit out of focus, but you might be able to hear it, you might not, but this thing sort of grinds a little bit in here. This is not really a bearing. This is just a plastic sleeve that's inserted and pressed into the, uh, the bore of the pulley. Right away, you hear that noise? That's going to tell you that something's wrong in there, and it's abrading, and it's not going to last a long time. A tech team, we have a good idea what's available out there. And we do our best to get the absolute best, highest quality product that's going to give you the longest service life and the best performance. Our number 939 pulleys are solid, precision molded nylon. And each one has not one, but two 5202Z ball bearings and a solid machine steel internal sleeve. This pulley rolls free and easy, just like this, and it's going to give you many years of smooth, efficient, quiet exercise. An important detail is the, the inside diameter of the, the bore that goes through the pulley. That's shown here at uh, 0 0.38, 0 0.39 inches. And as we know, 0.375 is 3 eighths of an inch. That way, if you ever need to replace the bolt that goes through the, uh, the hole in the center of the pulley, you'll know what diameter of a bolt to buy. When you're going to take the time and make the effort to replace those pulleys, remember, there is absolutely no substitute for using quality components and doing the job right the first time.